Fabio, we're on our way back to Melwood after you completed your medical and the formalities of the deal. How does it feel to be a Liverpool player? It feels really good to be to be back in England as well. And as a top club with uh, lots of trophy in the past. And we hope in the future as well. And I got the trust from the manager and from the club as well. So it's very, it's very, it's very nice and I'm proud to be here. How did you feel when you heard Liverpool were interested? I feel really good because I wanted uh, to be back in England one day. So sooner or later I knew I, I would be back. And being back with Liverpool is even more, more like I say, better because you can, I can uh, show the people what I can do, and you go Europa League, and you go lots, lots of stuff to, to play and, and show the people. This will be the third time you've worked with Brendan Rodgers. Yeah. How important was the manager in bringing you here? It's very important. Maybe I don't say the key, but most of it just came from him because even during the last season I spoke with him a lot like texting and asking him if it was okay and congratulate him for the results he made with Swansea and that's first of all is a relationship of friendship and after it's, it's workship so that's more important than anything what's he like to play for well, I just like play for for free free I used to play with him and it's very it's very funny to play football with him because you can have fun first of all and after you, you can have results as well and you can see I can see from Swansea the people love him because the football was attractive and and the people like to to see football like this. So for the Liverpool fans watching, what sort of player can they expect to see next season? Well, certainly Football, uh, football, uh, the players that want to win, and that always will work for the team first of all, then for themselves, and of course uh, Liverpool wants the results, so that's what we try to do. So, how would you describe yourself as a player? People, I don't know. <laughs> I describe myself as a as a player that I never give up, as because I run a lot and. Uh, I used to to get difficult parts in Chelsea when I was younger because I came from Italy and it was very difficult and uh, I tried to be strong for myself first and after to demonstrate the people that I could do it and that's that's an achievement I've, I've made this made me here. So. You've just come back from the European Championships. Has that helped you develop as a player? Yeah, of course. It's a big experience. For me, as a 21 years old, it's a good experience, even if I didn't play. And getting to the final is even more experience because it's not a thing that happens every day to get to the final of our Euros. So it will be grateful to bring with to bring it with me. I believe you have a special goal celebration. Liverpool fans will want to see this season. Can you uh, tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, I've got the celebration days. It's a knife between the teeth. That in Italy means that it's a warrior or it's someone that never give up, so he always get up even if he's fall down. And as once he, they like it, Roma like it, so I hope to, to show the, the Liverpool fan as well. As a forward, how much are you looking forward to playing with Luis Suarez this season? A lot, because he's another player. Maybe similar as me, because he works very hard, so a few games and all Europe wants him, so it's always a pleasure to to play with, with the player. The, every every player wants to play with him, so it's very pleasure. Liverpool, obviously, one of the biggest clubs in Europe. Are you aware of the club's history? Yeah, I'm aware of it, and I remember in my ages, uh, like the Champions League final against AC Milan. That is the most the most recent I remember. And it's very important to have this important past because you can you can bring it to the future and try to remake the past. You've already played at Anfield once before. What do you remember about that night? I remember we lost. <laughs> we had a good team at Chelsea, at FA Cup, but we lost. So it was the impression was was very good because the stadium is is an history. It's a, 
as a model for everyone to play at Anfield. So it was very nice. Are you excited about playing at Anfield now every other week this season? Yeah, every other week and full stadium. So it will be amazing. And I know the fans are very, very warm and very excited of, of in here for football. So that would be um, a point more. What do you hope to achieve during your time at Liverpool? Uh, I hope to achieve the maximum I can. So, so all the maximum, like scoring goals and and achieve the Champions League and all the stuff that the clubs also wants and all the other players. Just finally, do you have a message for the Liverpool fans watching? No, especially one, but I think with Brandon they could see good football. Brendan, Fabio Barini, your first signer at Liverpool. How keen were you to bring him here? You know, I was very keen. He's um, Fabio fits the model of, of what we're trying to do and, and building not only for the now but for the future. You know, he's a he's a big talent, 21 years of old, 21 years of age. Sorry, um, he scores goals, and his his passion and his um, his focus and concentration will. Uh, as I said, uh, is a very important part of his game and, and a big part of what I look for in a player. And he's someone you know very well, isn't he? Yeah, I've known him since he was what, just turned 16 years of age. We took him in from uh, Bologna when he was 16 and uh, he progressed incredibly well as a young player there to, to go on and play for the first team at Chelsea. Uh, didn't quite work out in terms of couldn't agree a contract, but before he didn't, I took him on loan to Swansea and uh, he made a big, big impression there and, and really helped us uh, in our promotion charge that season. So, uh, and he's, he's left and gone away in the last season, he's, he's, uh, he's done incredibly well. So, uh, so I think the supporters will love him. And like I say, he's a goal scorer, he can, uh, he's a multifunctional player who can play in a couple of positions and, and one that I believe uh, has got great growth and, and like I say, he's, he's one of very few young players in the full Italian squad. So uh, I would anticipate over the next two or three years he'll really progress and, uh, and I'm sure do very well for Liverpool. How much will that experience of English football benefit Fabio settling in here at Liverpool? Yeah, I think the adaptation is, is much easier. Um, like I say, he's very much... I believe he'll feel he's coming home because he, he's, his formative years as a, as a young player was, was here in, in Britain and, uh, and the game in this country suits him. Um, he's technically strong. You know, he's a good finisher of both feet. Like I say, he can play central or, or on the sides in a 4-3-3 in a three, three up front. Uh, he's quick. He's tactically very good. Physically, he's, he's arguably the best uh, physical player I've worked with in terms of his pace and power and, and, and fitness. And, and mentally, he's very, very strong. So, uh, so we've got a, a player who's, who's on the up and someone, like I say, who'll, who will think Liverpool will benefit. He's only 21. What can Fabio go on to achieve here at Liverpool? Well, I don't want to put any unnecessary pressure on him. I just believe that he's one that he can make an impact for now. Uh, and he still has a lot of learning and a lot of growth and uh, a lot to achieve in the game. But, uh, but this is a great environment for him to come into. It's a, it's a coaching environment. It's a, it's a club which is, like I say, historic. Uh, you know, to leave a club like Roma and, and having done very, very well for them, having just completed a transfer, just shows you the, the pull still that we have as a football club. Because Roma is, again, one of the, the world's big clubs, uh, and, and certainly in Italy it is. So, uh, so for him to leave there, having done very well, and for Roma to, to fight to get him in, just shows the, uh, like I said, the, the incredible pull that Liverpool Football Club has.